Shalom Mishpaka. Welcome back to Code Searcher. All right, guys, I just wanted to make a real quick video, just kind of talk to you about a few things that are going on in my life and some things that are going to be in the future. Um, those of you that have been with this channel for a while, you knew that something happened to me over the, the summer. It was a uh, really challenging spiritual warfare that went on. And uh, I was hacked and um, betrayed by somebody close to the ministry or got close to me in the ministry and slandered me. And uh, this did a lot of damage to my reputation. And it also, um, well, I'll just say it. Some, some of my you know, subscribers left, most of my supporters. I have about five that donate every month. And uh, this ministry currently brings in about... $500 a month. Now, folks, I said last year, in 2014, uh, on one of the broadcasts, that it was going to be um, a year full of spiritual warfare, and uh, attacks were coming. I was no different than anybody else. So, uh, there was other people that were attacked, Jonathan Kahn, Paul Begley, you name it, they were attacked, um, spiritually and physically. Um, but, you who has prevailed. Um, it was not his will that I be destroyed. And I knew that. And uh, I laid it on the line, uh, folks. This is it. I've lost everything because of this ministry and what I'm doing here. Literally. Um, but I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ex expand. Um, you know, when I was in the Marines, uh, I was on Paris Island for six months, and there were so many people telling me, you just need to give up, just go home. And I would not do it. The, the heart in me would just not let me give up. So I'm not going to give up. Matter of fact, I'm going to expand, like I said. And I've uh, gotten involved with Hallelujah Scriptures. That was a few that have noticed, um, using the name Yahuwah. Um, this is very interesting information here. And so um, I'm looking to be one of the distributors of Hallelujah Scriptures, a representative. Um, and so you'll be able to find this on my webpage as soon as I get uh, get squared away with the details on it. Um, this will be a f be free, by the way. You don't have to pay nothing for it. Um, as a matter of fact, I think they ask that you, that you pay for uh, someone else's Bible, but you get yours free, and, uh, and I think that's a really cool, cool deal. So it's like a passing the, the thing on kind of thing. Um, where you, like when you're in the driveway and you pay for the person behind you kind of thing so um, it's really a blessing you will get something out of it I promise you um, now like I said some people left the ministry and that and that's fine um, I don't hold no hard feelings um, I'm not going to defend myself um, you who will do that for me matter of fact the one that slandered me and who attacked me and accused me of awful things did so, so that I would lose my ch my chance to get my children in custody. Well, folks, I will be getting my children, and I will be fighting tooth and nail every point to get my kids. I'm not I'm not giving up on that either. So, uh, those of you that sought to cut my legs out from under me, so I would not have my children who are my life. Uh, Yahuwah knows you, and He will take care of you, and He will take care of me, and He has taken care of me, and I give Him all the glory and honor and praise for that. Uh, he never, ever abandoned me. But he did give me some ideas. I prayed about it. I went out to the desert, spent a lot of time alone uh, from around Yom Kippur. And I asked, I said, Father, um, you know, in 2014 I was working for my uncle. And uh, he's also a pastor. And he had a dream where you would told him to fire me because I wouldn't let go of my job and do this full time. He did. One week before I had to go to the Orlando conference, and you know the problem there was I was holding on to that paycheck every Friday. But this is what he wanted me to do full time, so he had me fired. And let me just say, he has taken care of me every step of the way since then. I have not gone hungry. Um, there was a time this this summer where I was living out of my car for for several months because I had nowhere to go. People betrayed me and turned their backs on me. Some never talked to me again. Um, and this was intentional. This was to hurt me and keep me from my kids. But 
um, he's brought me through that and I now have a place to, to live um, it's off the grid I have a bed to sleep in and um, I don't go hungry but uh, this this ministry has suffered um, there was a few that I lost in the, the subscriber count and uh, it's the lack of support has prevented me from from doing anything further but I'm stepping out on faith folks on something that um, I hope it will be a blessing to you. It will surely be a blessing to this ministry if you participate, and I encourage you to do so. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I can't be begging for money, and I'm not going to be selling coffee cups. And I pray, Father, please, I don't want to sell coffee cups to do this ministry. Um, you are the, the, the creator of this universe, and it is in your capability to provide. And, uh, and I ask you, Either, either provide the supporters or give me something I can do um, to, to revitalize and to, to carry on. Because, folks, I, everybody's looking for the rapture to take place. And I've kind of discouraged those code searchers out there that's come up under me who are pushing the rapture thing. And let me just warm on that. There's also a percentage of, of those out there, uh, and especially the one who came to... Uh, betray me uh, that want to discredit they want to discredit the codes they want to destroy this ministry and what is going on here and what we're exposing here and I've asked that you pray before you subscribe to someone's channel that's doing codes that you would discern um, what the truth is because I'm telling you there are some that are out there that are intentionally trying to to misdirect and trying to throw uh, well, sabotage, throw a hammer in the machine and destroy it. And um, I've been watching that take place. And, and sometimes I feel like it's my responsibility to remedy uh, or to reverse some of those things that people are putting out there, some ridiculous things. And so uh, that's that's been on my heart. The other thing is, uh, is getting involved in, in international ministry. I've been feeling that calling for a couple of years now that you know, wanted me to get out of this country and go do something. Build houses for homeless people. Feed homeless people. Heal the sick. Uh, raise the dead. Like the Bible says, raise the dead. Uh, this same power that raised Jesus or Yeshua from the from the grave is is available to us. And so I want to get out there and do that. And so I've hooked up with um, other people. Uh, there'll be at least seven of us getting out of this country and going to Central America at some point. Now, don't get excited. I will still be doing YouTube. As a matter of fact, there'll be another channel coming. And so I'm debuting that today and telling you about that today. It'd be called, um, well, I'll just show you. I just got the page up, but it's Expatriated TV. And this will be a documentary type of thing. It won't just, it won't be codes per se, but it will be a broad range of things. Um, we'll be filming episodes, and I will be with someone who's been in the TV industry for over 30 years in Fox. And so we are in capable hands. It'll be high quality. There will be uh, at least six hours a day of filming, and they'll be edited down to, I think it's going to be uh, one hour for one week is, is edited down. But um, you will see wh exactly what's going on, exactly what we're doing, and, and you'll see all the hard times, the good times, the, the, the tears, the joy, and all those things, uh, and, and especially the miracles and what you, who is going to be doing. Um, so that is here at Expatriated TV. Uh, matter of fact, my other channel is the only subscriber right now. So uh, if you want to, I'll put the link down at the bottom and, and you can go ahead and subscribe to that. This will be a totally different um, different thing than codes. Uh, there will be a lot of news, a lot of political stuff, um, activist kind of things. You know, uh, I am a pro-lifer and as it stands, it seems I'm going to be a, well, an advocate in father's rights. There are fathers out there that have lost their children unrighteously lost their children because of wickedness in people uh, same things happen to me and I'm going to be that voice for those people in my own case fighting that own case my own case so uh, be in prayer for me o over that um, I miss my sons I haven't got to see or talk to them in five months not even on a birthday and not on Father's Day because of wicked people um, that come against this ministry uh, but let me just show you what, what I am doing and this is the fruit of our hands. It's many many hours of work, which is a uh, well, it's a line of products that we're going to be offering 
at BibleCodeNow.com. And it is a goat milk um, lotion and, and uh, creams. There's also, let me just show you one at a time. This is what you're looking at now is, is something that's being made. Uh, the one on the right is called Tropical Breeze and the other one on the left is, uh, well it just says dandelion, elderberry, flower, and uh, rosemary, grapefruit. But they are, they are all lotions and some of them are infused with essential oils. Uh, and there will be a few more that will be offered. My favorite will be the, uh, the, the Rose of Sharon. It's an amazing scent. Uh, but but these, these lotions are made with love. And it takes a lot of time in doing this. So we'll be offering these at, uh, I'm not sure what the, the price will be yet, but all the proceeds will go to support this ministry. Um, there is a lot to offer here. There's the lotions. There, uh, I think these are lip balms. Wait a minute, there is a lip balm in here. Let me just show you. There it is right there. A lip balm made of dandelions and some other things. But uh, all of these products will be allowed or debuted on the channel over at BibleCodeNow.com. Uh, here's one of the Matters of the Heart um, lotions. Um, another one was this one. Here's a Land of Milk and Honey. Frankincense and Myrrh. Um, good quality uh, products folks and I do believe there will be samples that uh, we could we could pass out but uh, please please uh, support this ministry and uh, some of these things are made out of like you see there uh, lavender is one of the ingredients in one of them um, and uh, there is a I think this is a pain reliever yeah that's a pain reliever topical spray uh, made with lavender and a few other things um, and so uh, this is the 12 tribes of Hebrew, um, the 12 tribes of Hebrew um, line of products here. Um, like I said, I don't know the pricing on it yet, but it will be something affordable and be able to help us uh, in this ministry um, to go forth and to bring the gospel and to teach the name. And like I said, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to feed the poor, and to, to provide homes uh, and shelter for those in third world countries. Um, and with expatriated TV, it will all be documented. You will be able to see every episode uh, and that takes place and, uh, and participate. If you want to be a sponsor and help us go out there, if you want to be involved in the credits, because this is a good chance that this could be picked up by one of the, um, one of the major TV groups, uh, it's very possible. With, you know what's going on with um, Duck Dynasty and things like that, and I do come from a place where I have some connections in the TV industry so uh, who knows it may be out in in uh, the mainstream if not it will be on expatriate TV and uh, you can catch it all there now for the big thing I want to show you and this is what Yahuwah gave to me um, to offer and I prayed to him father what can I do and immediately he gave me this um, lamps oil lamps he said give him a lamp and tell him I'm the light of the world and so he led me to uh, Psalms 119 105 um, the word is uh, a lamp to my feet and a light to my path and so uh, this was the idea he gave me to offer uh, as a reminder this is by no means am I implied that this is your oil lamp of the ten virgins but it is a reminder of that to keep you on your toes, to keep you looking and waiting and being watchful. And so, I will be offering these as a gift or a donation of $30. And that is priced very fairly because it's going to cost me almost 20 to get these custom made. Um, and I'm going to offer at least two, but maybe three different styles here. Uh, there, this one is one I'm looking at. It's like this. It's a Canaanite. Um, and then these are Herodian uh, types of lamps. All of these lamps are from the time of Yeshua. Um, and so that's what we're going to have here. And we'll have a scripture on it. We'll also have the, the name, the, the names of the Father and the Son on these lamps. And it will be a reminder to you. And it also will be able to help this ministry go forth. Folks, I don't know what else to do. I can't be hustling coffee cups, but I, I will offer you something that is uh, a genuine edification and reminder of who we are and what we're doing here. We're waiting um, 
for our, our Messiah to return. And so, um, I hope that this blesses you. The 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 the, the image of a lamp and the oil is a direct uh, connection to. Uh, the, these the ten birds, the, the parable of the ten virgins, and having enough oil. Um, some me people think it's literal. Uh, I do believe it's spiritual. What the oil is is the knowledge of the of the Father and His name. The power of His name, I believe, is the oil. Um, the Scripture says He is a light. Uh, Yeshua said, "I am the light of the world." So th there's a lot of things that point to that imagery and what it means spiritually. So I hope you get that spiritual uh, edification of what, what's going on here. So um, if you're interested and you want to get a pre-order done, uh, just message me or email me at BibleCodeNow at Yahoo.com. And uh, we'll, I'll get you on the list. And uh, as soon as I get them all, uh, in and uh, you know packaged, I will get them out. Uh, also, I'll be offering the book. You know, uh, Lewis did do a re um, a revised edition of the book um, Bible Codexes. We'll also have that as well. And while I was over at Lewis's site, I did notice something. There is now a Bible Code app with my tables on it that you can get on your iPhone or your Android. You can find that at the Google Stop uh, uh, Store, I believe, for um, Bible Code apps. So check that out. And, and I appreciate whoever did that, Lewis. Um, it doesn't say who did that, but brother, I appreciate all your hard work and what you're doing. And he never asked for a dime, folks. But he always gets my tables annotized so that you can read them in the English. Um, and that's that's a that's a huge thing uh, to do. There's many tables that he did, and he never at once asked a dime. And uh, I appreciate him for doing that. So there you go, folks. Here's your opportunity to uh, to help this ministry and get something back. Um, I've never done this before. And uh, I felt kind of nervous about uh, offering something like this because there's always somebody that wants to throw a stone and say, oh, you're trying to capitalize, oh, you fear porn, all that kind of stuff. And folks, to tell the truth, I just want to be obedient to him. This is my life. I don't have a career. This is what I've dedicated my life to do. And I'm not giving up just because somebody attacked me and come against me the way they did and they tried to destroy me. It's not going to stop me. I serve the creator of the universe and uh, I'm not giving up on him. He never gave up on me. I'm never giving up on him. So support the channel, uh, support the ministry, like the, the videos, share the videos, help get this word out so uh, we can grow this channel and, and expose what we're exposing. So shalom. Uh, may your, your week be blessed and prosperous. And I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.